Point two five miles into the trail. You need to come to your first junction. We're gonna go left. And the reason we're going left is basically so I can go up the steep section and come down a little easier section. One point six nine easy miles on this trail. You're going to come up to your first intersection. Well, your first major intersection. But there's a little rock quarry there that everybody misses out. So we're going to make a left up ahead, but ultimately we're going to go right. But we're going to make a quick little left or a detour. It's about a baseball throws distance away. So don't miss it. It's right here. So 20 seconds down the trail. Off to the right here. It's an old bluestone quarry. You might want to keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. They do like to sun themselves. But this is an easy detour. If somebody could get this stone to my house, that would be greatly appreciated. The rock quarry is right behind me, um, just over my shoulder here. This is the trail we came out on. So we're back where we came out. And we're gonna go straight and we'll see some signage in a minute. That's where we came out from Pettigrew Road. This is the right we should have made. Less than one minute from the last turn. We're gonna make a right onto the long path and Indian Lake. miles in and uh, still goes up just over three miles we're about to bump out into a little overlook or an outcropping either or just over three miles
walk and break a little downhill. However, we're not at the summit. We have to go down to go back up, which would be a typical Catskills thing. So we're like, hey, we must hit the summit. Nope, not even close. We'll get there, but some downhill. <laughs> yep. If you're asking yourself, how in the world do we get up here? Uh, up there. Ah, Sherman's Lookout. This is one of the reasons I came in this direction. It's always better to go up this, especially in the winter. P.S. Note to self, I'm fat. The little downhill we were just treated to is right there. And then we went down that little hill. And up this gym. <sighs> Bad time to have an untied shoelace. Over here, there's a tower. That's where the ruins are. Then you can see the fire tower. Three point eight three miles in. Three point eight three. Guess so. Uh, Winter. Hey, anybody want to see the summit of Indian Head? Me too, because I just walked right by it and didn't even realize it. Uh, I've done it before. I did it again. There's no marker. There's no plaque. There's no shrine. There's some trees, as you can see. But I started heading down again. And I realized I uh, I went past it. So, yay! Uh, this is what I call a clue that we uh, went past the summit. When you start seeing stuff like this heading down the clue phone has rang and i've answered it you down indian head you can see twin over there peeking itself out but uh, as i mentioned earlier we're making a right but it's nice to go downhill because i can actually breathe again and talk but it's also nice to see twin i was kind of thinking about going up and over it but Super excited uh, getting down to the notch. And uh, there is some fun stuff to see here, oddly. Flat Cove Road, 2.5 miles. Indian Head, 0.5. Twin, 1.1. It's a little detour we didn't need to do, but it's right off the path. And why not? Nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty one and two thousand twelve. Tim Becker coming down a notch, and I just realized that I haven't looked backwards in a while, and uh, it is beautiful. Just green rocks, everything's all covered. Beautiful. Two and a half miles of down. And again, Counterskill High Peak and Round Top.
My two liters of water is absolutely gone and it was an intentional move because I know that there's less than a half mile to the car where I have water in the car. I also have the ability to um, filter water. Um, so it was done intentionally actually. So two liters of water, no problem. And uh, just a whole different forest scene here. It's kind of fun. It's like a dense spruce kind of forest. Uh, different from the walk up. You're on a trail. There's two trail markers. Whichever way the top trail marker goes or trail blaze, turn that direction. Almost back to the first junction that we uh, hit when we started. The stream is within view of the, uh, the first junction. So if it's raining or bad weather, you need to look at this thing before you make this loop. Because if you come back down, this thing's raging, you might not be able to get back across it. Uh, not a problem during summer. Definitely a problem um, during the spring with runoff. And An extremely slow pace, but I had fun and I stopped to look at whatever I wanted to look at. I let the GPS run the whole time. I didn't shut it off when I stopped for breaks or whatever. So with that being said, four hours, 38 minutes back to the parking lot. I have a dilemma. I have this can of Guinness beer that's been hiking with me for the last four or five times. It's been up and over some mountains. It's been up and down the Schwangunks. Uh, it's walked locally my neighborhood. So I'm not sure, should I drink this thing? Not drink this thing? I don't know. Kind of on the fence. <laughs> 